So today we're at Alex Skate Park in the sunny coast. We're gonna do kind of a drawn out intro to bowl skating because the fundamentals of pumping and carving and grinding and using lines, it's not that easy, especially if you haven't been doing it for a long time. We cover some basic issues with, you know, how high on the wall you wanna place yourself when you're carving, how to approach grinds, how to approach wanting to change directions, or, you know, maybe you wanna do one trick in the deep end, maybe you wanna do two. We cover all that in this video. Beginner, intermediate, some advanced stuff, but as always, there's something in this video for everyone, so I hope you enjoy it. The biggest thing, I see this all the time. When you're carving, especially in the little corners, I see this where people pick a height, usually about halfway up the, up the quarter pipe and carve around at that height all the way around. And it's hard, it's even hard for me to do because it is, goes so against my nature. I pick a height like halfway up and then stay there and try to and try to pump around that and that doesn't make any it doesn't make any sense no matter if you're going around a corner or not going up and down the ramp is what gives you the speed <clears throat> so even if you're gonna go around a corner like this going up and then down is what is gonna give you the biggest pump. Going just through the corner and not giving yourself any way to actually build speed coming down it, you're just gonna lose speed and go way too wide. I mean, I see it all the time. So many of the lessons that I've done already is just understanding like the fundamentals of the lines. So like if I wanna hit the deep end, I go high on the left corner. And that'll send you in the deep end. And something else entirely happens if we go high in this corner. See how different that is? But what's important is you pick a spot to go high. Because if you just get stuck at the same height, you kind of have nothing to work with. Where even just a little bit of this starts to give you a pump. And then you just throw it up through the corner to make it look good. <clears throat> All right, so make sure you get that right before anything. So you want to do some grinds through the corner. The first mistake I see is starting the grind too late in the corner. So it puts like a lot of, a lot of really weird pressure, weird G-forces by starting it too late, like this. I mean, it's so weird. I hate doing that. Because all your weight, all your weight is going like into the actual corner instead of around the corner. I used to do it too. So if you actually started a little more on the flat wall, right where the flat wall meets the corner, you get rid of a lot of those G's and you can actually focus on getting around the corner. Just for the sake of it, the same thing works on the way out as the way in. That's fine, right? That's fine, that's completely fine. Just don't do it at the top of the corner. It's like the only rule, really. Okay, now that we, now that we have the basics of carving in the shallow end covered, I think let's cover basically the two lines in the deep end. There's the long carve that you can come in and out of the deep end. And that works both backside and front side. All right, let me just show you an example. Just the long carve. Doesn't matter if you grind or don't. Just in and out. So backside works too. Just in and out. But 
Then the other line is the double deep end. And this works in round or square. And it's almost, it, it, it's almost like it's in every single bowl. The double deep end in a nutshell, basically you wanna skip this entire middle section because these walls, this face wall aims at the shallow end. If you look over here, these walls are looking at each other, right? So if you get rid of this part and you do like a grind or a carve over here and come at it, you're actually coming at the deep end again. And then you repeat and kind of get into this middle section where the wall is facing back out. You can get two deep end tricks in a row. It's necessary for like a sick line, just for variation. I'll do it very slow. Get aiming at this wall and it just puts you back into the deep end without thinking and then it gets you out. And I want you to think about it not in this like arbitrary way. I want you to literally think about where the wall is aiming. That's where you're gonna go. So you look at where this wall is aiming. This can easily put you back there. Let's say you come out here. This wall is facing straight over here. So like if you're in that spot, either you're gonna have to figure eight to front side or you're going back in the shallow. So don't fight, don't like fight the ball. Really just pay attention to where the wall is facing and like listen to it. It'll look, it'll look and feel so much better. Obviously works both ways. I mean, let's just work out how we can do the same thing backside just for the sake of it, just so you can see it. So I'm gonna hang out over here because this wall is gonna start turning me in. Boom, 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 boom. Find the part of the wall that faces where I wanna go. And we go this way and we could go two backsides. And it shouldn't be rocket science. Here, stay on my heels because this is gonna turn me. Wall is going this way. And then we're out. So that's like the basics of the shallow end and the deep end, like the two main things you can do in the deep end, not really including hips. Most of your time should be spent on the fundamentals, where you are, how the bowl works. Not so much if you can do like a backside Smith grinder. I don't really care about that. There's a line that I want to do here. I don't know what it is, but I want to use all the pieces. I want to use a shallow end corner. We want to use this hip here, and we want to get a lot out of the deep end because the deep end is where like a, most of the stuff happens. And then there's this beautiful long face wall here around like a soft corner that's, I guarantee it's just fun to grind all the way around. Start with the hip, pay attention to where it spits you out. So it makes sense if we go hip, let's come down out of the wall, take this front side, let it leak high, and now we have a decision. So let's think about it. I think long back side is nice. And then we can either use the long face wall grind here and we can use that to change directions there we go that's like the absolute basics the easiest way to run double deep end front side would be to hit this hip, which is a little clunky to find. Probably gotta go this way, this way, this way, and anywhere in it. That's the most comfortable way to find it, but I respect if you can't do the hip from shallow to deep. So the thing about lip tricks and bowls, your line is gonna determine how much pressure you have up against the coping, just like in this small corner. I can make myself have a lot of pressure up against the coping, even on the round section. It kind of feels crazy, but if you just remember to carve wide enough, but I want you at the top section to be going like parallel to the coping, like this. If you can get going along the direction as, as the coping, 
without going at it too much and roll on top, there's not that much pressure. Okay, so that's the basics of the line. Now let's throw some tricks in there. Basically the only thing I'm gonna change is just doing a Smith grind and a tail side. I won't do tutorials on like how to do those tricks because that's like a whole, a whole nother thing. Watch the front side grind tutorial on this channel. That'll give you most of the insights to Smith grinds. And I believe I did a front tail one as well. There you have it. It's basically, uh, that's a good intro to bowl skating.